we're, what are we doing right now? We're doing a so, lightning round? Yeah, I call this the lightning round. This is horrible. Yeah, that's right. So okay, this is I the lightning round. So this is questions provided by, don't look, don't look. <gasps> I'm not looking, I'm not looking. So she has oh not God. seen these questions before. And these are just 10 questions provided by the listeners. The big thing with what? this podcast is I try and, um, while I'm doing this, it's about the industry and it's about our people in it, but it's really about the people in it. And these are just oh, okay. fun, 10 fun little questions about you. So try you not to think so You say it's 10 hard. fun little questions, but like, this is, to me, I'm very competitive, right? So yeah. this is a game and I better like say crush the best answer. Yeah. I'm going to crush this lightning round. Okay, so oh my God. Lightning okay. round. Here we okay. go. Question number one. If you could be any animal, what would it be and why? If I could be any animal, I would be a mule. And this is why. <laughs> no, how is a mule? Is a mule kind of like a, or a bull, but not really? No, like a mule a is a horse and a donkey mixed together. One, because oh. like that is what I look like as an animal. Like I've played this game forever. Like I've, I know exactly what animal everyone is and like I can figure out yours later, but um, I'm definitely going to take you up on that. Um, I, no, I, I can't. I'm very intense. My friend Stephen Cullen and I have discussed this in Amazing. length. So we, um, horses like to be in like groups of people and like they're um, like they're they love to have friends around them and they love like running and having fun and playing and they're like youthful. But a donkey is like clumsy and kind of has a bad temper. And like I have like a little bit of temper, like when I get mad with my boyfriend and stuff. So I'm not a donkey because donkeys like to be by themselves, but I'm not a horse because they're too like elegant and graceful and like they never trip so I am a mule which is a horse and a donkey combined <laughs> listen I know you said that you're very competitive and everything you definitely just won that that, that was is the best answer, yeah, answer you're answer. ever gonna get okay it's funny because I've thought so long about that yeah, question that I didn't even one. know you're gonna ask yeah. me <laughs> what is your go-to pre-show meal my go-to pre-show meal is inconsistent every time um, because I am a flustered person and I'm doing a million things at once. So sometimes I cook like a gourmet meal of like, like I, I had yesterday I had like chicken with like pesto and um, red peppers and blah, blah, blah. And then like today I grabbed an orange and a protein bar. I so gonna, like I was curious if it was going to be the protein it's bar. It's the protein bar. The protein, the protein bar protein and an orange. And I eat baby food, which sounds disgusting, but it's just applesauce yeah. in a bag. I so, know friends who do that. Yeah, yeah. like it's just, it's just applesauce in a bag, but people get freaked out because it says like Gerber on the front. <laughs> but so it's, it's really good. Okay, this was a fun one. I was excited to ask you. What are the first lyrics that come to your head? One, two, three, go. Oh, I'm a single lettuce. Okay. I don't know why. Oh my that god, I'm great. not even single. That was perfect. Oh, I'm a single ladies. Oh my god, of course Beyonce came to my head. That was we have pretty for the rest of the like tune into the rest of the episode because a lot of Beyonce talk. <laughs> There's so, actually I feel like I didn't talk like as much as I usually as do because yeah. I was trying to like say Stacey, don't be so obsessed with Beyonce. Okay. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Uh, if oh this oh god we could do a whole hour on this too my superpower is something that everybody is going to be like oh that's a dumb one to pick and then you're going to think about this later and my sister tells me Stacy I think about this all the time it would be to know the exact place to go to or the exact thing um so perfectly so like when you're like uh, what should I eat for dinner tonight? My superpower would tell me like, this is the restaurant and place that you will have the most delicious meal at. Or I need a new dress for this show. It would say the dress that's going to look the best on you in this mall is at that store. And it's like it, you yeah. just always know the exact place to go. Or like, what movie do I want to watch? This is the one that you're going to like the best tonight. So the superpower is knowing always what the best thing is. You're, this is what I'm telling you. This sounds crazy right now, but then you're going to have a debate and you're going to be like, I wish I had that freaking superpower yeah. right now no, it's to be, know yeah. exactly like the store to go to. Totally. It's so weird, but no, that's great. it would be amazing. Okay. And what I will say, what that made me think about and just kind of like a little off track, but yeah. I think we should chat about it. That's on its way in terms of like, uh, like chip implants and stuff like that. Cause we can Are do that on our me? phone, right? Like we can, so that's going to speed up and then eventually that's going to go into Like there's going to be in 20 years or something, we're going to have like a chip in our head that you can do that. You can think, where's the best place that's going to, I want this exact food. Where and it, like, to, and it? Yeah. goes like, here's what your emotions are. Here's what, whatever, yeah. this is what would make you the happiest. <gasps> yeah. Oh, that's totally on its way. You're going to get your superpowers. Oh my God. I'm going to start crying. That's perfect. <laughs> um, so movie, you think you could come the closest to reciting every single word? Uh, <laughs> it's called Clifford by, uh, and Martin Short is the, is the lead in you it. You love Martin Short. I love yeah. Martin Short. Yeah. Everyone, when I say Clifford, they think it's the big red dog. It's I, not the big red dog. It's um, it's a story about a uh, he's a mischievous little boy. He's like in the movie, he's like 45 and he's the same height, but he looks like a little boy. Smart, he yeah. plays a little boy. And um, he's a mischievous little boy and his only dream is to go to Dinosaur World. And he makes everybody have like the worst life because of it. Like he's so bad. It's the funniest 
movie Amazing. ever. Clifford? And I can called Clifford. Cool. It's a very specific sense of humor. <laughs> That's so but funny. I could tell you every single line from very it. <laughs> cool. So favorite musical theater song sung by someone of the opposite gender. Oh my God. See, this is where it's bad because I bet you a lot of your guests could tell you in a second yeah. and I have to like think about a musical. Oh, okay. Um, well, we could also go, I could also go pop for you. No, but I, no, this is the challenge. Oh my this God, is I'm, the ch I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing. <laughs> um, musical theater song. Okay. Oh, the, I, I feel like I'm, this is a cop out, but, and I don't even know the title of the song. But in Hamilton, yeah. there's the fast rapping. Guns and shit. Yeah. Like, right? That's, so, like, yeah. You that's were so right because answer. you just said it and I went guns and ships. Yeah, like guns and ships. Ships. So I know funny. musical theater. That's a cool one though. That's I, mean, I know. Makes sense. Yeah. And my goal is to one day, like, you know how they do like colorblind casting and stuff yeah. like that? I want them to do like sex blind the casting gender, and yeah. like I could be like a female playing that part so I could do the fast that's rapping. Cool. Yeah. Did you hear about what's going on at I wanna say it's the Grand Theater? It might be somewhere else. Citadel yeah. maybe. What's happening? Uh they're doing um. I should know this, but it's uh it's, they're swapping the gender for Scrooge for the Christmas. Oh yeah. that's so it's, cool. Yeah, it's gonna be female Scrooge. That's cool. Yeah, super cool. I'm very excited oh for it. Oh my God, it. Yeah. who's it going to be? Yeah, That's I so think that, cool. I, think we, yeah, I should know this, but yeah, yeah it's very cool. So That's check awesome. that out, everyone. Yeah, That'll check be interesting. it out. <laughs> um, favorite childhood story or nursery rhyme? Um, I don't know why this popped in my head. Um, you, Do you remember like the... Um, um, oh my gosh. No way. Now I just changed my mind. There's remember that book with like the spider that you could like feel the web on the page. Do you remember this? No, but that's cool. But I don't even remember the story. So that's not like, that's not a good one. I, okay. Anyway, if someone knows what that is, let me know. It's like a spider book and like the web was on each page and you could like physically feel the web. I don't know why that popped in my head, but it's I not, think it's not like the, like it's not Charlotte's web. Right? No, it's not okay. Charlotte's web. No, no, no. This was like a, it was like a kid's book, but you could it feel an it. Indie spider book. Yeah. It was like so indie. So cool. Um, but I think that I actually, and I think this comes into play with songwriting and rapping and stuff. Yeah. I loved Dr. Seuss books because they all, the and rhymed and I would make them into songs and raps and stuff sometimes Very when I was cool. little. So I, I, any Dr. Seuss book I think I liked. Yeah. What's the first one that comes to mind? Well, now I'm like, Oh, Sam, I am oh. <laughs> like, oh, like so typical. That's funny. Uh, if you could be a virtuoso on any instrument, what would it be? Oh, I've always wanted to play um, piano so that I could be like Alicia Keys and cool. like accompany myself yeah. because she looks so cool when she's like singing her own songs and she's like playing so hard. Yeah. But then I'm also like very interested in the drums too. Like yeah. I, I would always, I'm very, I love beats. Um, when I'm writing a song, I always think of the beat first, to be cool. honest. Actually, yeah. like remember we wrote a song and I was like, you were like what's the beat? Yeah, because that'll like, set some of it. Yeah. yeah, like I'm all, I'm very interested. I love beatboxers. I love, I love, so I think I would actually love to be a pro on the, the drums, but drums or piano, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, if you could have lunch with one person, who would it be and why? Martin Short. <laughs> yeah, very cool. That'd I would. It would be meal. Martin Short because that's just like, I want to meet him so bad. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have met him. Mm -hmm. I have, but yeah. I, it was very quick. And I actually, like the story behind this is that I saved my money up and I paid $400 for a ticket to go see this thing called It's Always Something. It's like, um, it's a show that they honored like breast cancer and mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. And at this show, there was Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara, uh, Catherine, Catherine, uh, uh, what's his name? Fred Willard, yes. like the best people ever. And um, Martin Short was, I because I paid $400 for the ticket, I got to go to the VIP party after. Cool. And I saw him and I was like, this is my moment. And I body checked someone to get to him. And then I turned around and the person I body checked was Eugene Levy, but I like didn't care. <laughs> so I just kept going. And I took a picture with him and I have an amazing picture, but that wasn't enough for me. Well, like, it's a different context too, yes. right? As opposed to sitting down for a meal or like sitting yeah. down for a coffee with him or whatever it might be for oh sure. Oh my God, it would be so funny very and cool. hilarious. Very, very cool. Uh, and then last one, if you could, uh, and this is an interesting one for you and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, so I'll say as, this will be two part. Okay. okay, okay one, okay. to nervous. go back into the musical theater world because okay, I know you're me. competitive about this Yeah, stuff. I am, I am. If you could put on any show, okay. they're giving you the golden ticket budget wise and everything like okay. that. What would it be, where and why? And then I will, counter this also with with the Stacey K band and everything like Ooh, that okay if you were given the golden ticket to go play anywhere what would it be okay so I think that the show but like I'm gonna be selfish Bring it the on. show I would do is uh Annie I know that's weird yeah. but I want to play Miss Hannigan because cool. I've always wanted to play Miss Hannigan yeah because I friggin love Carol Burnett and I don't think I could do it like her but I think that I could find a version of yeah. Miss Hannigan and I love watching kids. I love watching kid actors. Yeah. Like they're so cool. Oh, yeah. And it would be just really fun. Um, yeah. And like in kid dancers and totally. stuff. But Did I you think, see Matilda? 
I didn't see Matilda, but I cool, bet you yeah. I would have loved it because they're kids. kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I obviously I would do it like in New York City at like whatever the fanciest theater is. What whatever. is it? I don't know. <laughs> whatever yeah, the one is like fanciest. Yeah. Cause I have the gold ticket with like the biggest budget. Yeah, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then the second part of the question is, and I'm actually not gonna pick the United States of America. I'm gonna pick Canada. I'm yeah. gonna pick the Air Canada Center. I have actually crossed off that bucket list and yeah, performed. Yeah, I remember that you played there. Yeah. Yes, I did. I performed at the Air Canada Center and I got to sing my own song, which was cool too. Um, but it was for like a corporate gig. So there were, yes, there were 20,000 people in the audience, but they weren't coming to see Stacey K. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Totally. Still amazing. And I yeah. felt like Beyonce in the middle of that, you know, like, it's a humongous place, but my dream with the golden ticket and all the money in the world would be to put on like a Beyonce style concert where it's full and full they're all there yeah. to see like that show, like mm -hmm. Stacey K and her band. And cause I know if I had the money, I could like back up dance. Like I have yeah. it all planned in my head, like the intro, like everything. So, Very cool. no, <laughs> so I like that's that, where yeah. I'd pick the Air Canada well, Center and, and, and it could a, happen. Just to kind of finish it up and like for the people so that they get a little bit of this yeah. on the live and everything too. Uh, Cause you do very much. I love that you are, you are a pop star and you do that thing, but your <laughs> band is a part of you. And oh, it's, it's very cool. So, that's very interesting to hear. How is how does that kind of play in with show wise and stuff like yeah. that? Because they're there grooving, but you would love to add some stuff on top of that. Oh, one hundred percent. They um, there's been actually times in the past where people have suggested like because it's actually very expensive to bring a band. Yeah. Hey, band, <laughs> you're expensive, but it's expensive because you have to pay them and you have to, um, you know, like and they always do it for very little money actually, but you have to buy the, you know, pay for the rental car and the hotel rooms. And like, so the bigger your band is, the more expensive it is. Right. Mm -hmm. But the thing is my band that it's, I always kind of say it's like the spice girls, like they all have their own personality and I'm telling you, they all have their own set of fans too. Like, yeah. like people like that. My boyfriend is my bass player and my boyfriend can like dance while he, like he's an amazing bass player in the sense of like, he's a great bass player, but his stage presence, like, he doesn't just stand there. He moves and like, and everybody has their own Spice Girls character in my That's band. Cool. Um, Tafari Anthony is yeah. my backup singer slash like, he's also has his own career and amazing. Al Tafari Anthony is amazing. Look him up. His music is amazing. But they're all their own yeah. character. And without them, I still could do it. But I think that that's the best show. Totally. So I like yeah. to, like, it's almost like a variety show in it's, a way. Yeah, and it's almost, in a sense, it's kind of like a, a musical in the sense that there's lots of characters. A hundred percent. You're something great. I you're just not slapped just, your yeah, leg you're when just, you said oh, that. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, that's exactly it. It's, it's a, yeah, it's a variety show. It's a musical. It's, it's, it's not, yeah. And, and there are, um, like, even I saw Justin Timberlake at the Air Canada Center recently. Cool. It was the an amazing concert, but his backup singers are characters in his yep. show. He lets them each do a solo song, which Sweet. is amazing. And he like, you get to know them and then you want to hear them. You know what I mean? Definitely. So, and his band too, like he gets them to do choreo and like, it just, yeah, yeah. It, I, I, his characters. I think I've heard that that's a big thing with Bruno Mars' band as oh well. Oh my gosh. It's the best concert I've yeah. ever seen. You saw him as well. Cool. Oh my gosh. Yes. He... He actually like, yeah, they're a group the whole time. His band is like prominent, like, and, and like he gets other people to sing. Sometimes he will be the backup singer. And like, Very that's cool. the best part of that yeah. concert is that everybody is dancing. Everybody is singing. And like, I, yeah, I, I actually would base my concert off of a Bruno Mar Mars very, concert very cool. if I could. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, Stacey K, congratulations. You totally crushed that. Lightning <laughs> Thank you. Round. That was oh my great. God. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for tuning in on the Instagram lives and everything. Thank you. Uh, we'll turn that off and then we'll just finish up a little okay. bit. Okay. Okay.